Turning now to college basketball, the Big East Tournament is underway at Madison Square Garden. This tournament determines which teams get to play in March Madness. The PC Friars play in their first game tomorrow, and so does Cumberland native Tyler Kolick. He's a sophomore at Marquette. Sports Director Maury Hirschgordon joins us now live from New York City. Hey, Maury. Yeah, hey Shannon, uh, the former Cumberland Clipper All-Stater has been on a meteoric rise in his college career. After he left the RIIL, he finished up his prep years at St. George's in Newport. Then he won the Atlantic 10 Rookie of the Year at George Mason. Now Tyler is in his second full season with the Marquette Golden Eagles, and he is at the controls of one of the most prolific and efficient offenses in college basketball. Proud to congratulate the Big East Player of the Year. Tyler Kolick. Wednesday afternoon inside Madison Square Garden, Cumberland's own Tyler Kolick, officially honored for his spectacular season. Uh, leading up to this point, we, we worked really hard as a team. And, uh, you know, like I said up there, it's an individual award, but it's a team award too. We don't get this coach of the year or player of the year if we don't win games. And so that's what it comes down to. Kolick led Marquette to 25 of them, 17 coming in the Big East. The program's first ever outright regular season championship. Yeah, it's been our relationships as a program, relationships with the players, relationships with the coaches, and, and all the support staff that we have. That, that's probably our biggest advantage as a team. And the, the biggest thing that we try and press uh, when game time comes around is just, you know, being how connected we are and showing people that. And there's no greater connection for him than his immediate family, father Kevin, mother Lynn, and big brother Brandon, front row for his latest accomplishment. He did it for the love of the game and, and just to get better. Like he could never imagine himself even playing in the Big East, never mind being Big East player of the year. It's kind of incredible to say one of the best point guys in the country, but I always had the belief in him that he, that he could reach the highest levels. And according to Lynn, his passion and drive can be traced back to a sign in his childhood home. So, you know, it's funny because uh, above our door in the bathroom, it says, uh, follow your dreams. And I think that's what Tyler has done right to this point. And if he could just continue to follow his dreams wherever they take him. Yeah, and Tyler might be able to rack up a few more awards here as we get deeper and deeper into March Madness. He hopes to win a Big East championship this weekend for his Marquette Golden Eagles. And he's also a finalist for the Bob Cousy Award, which goes out to the nation's best point guard. We could see round three between Tyler and the hometown Friars Friday night if both teams are able to win tomorrow's quarterfinal game. We're live in New York City tonight. Maury Hirsch-Gordon, 12 News. Thank you, Maury. Sure they must be proud of him. And Maury will be following PC every step of the way. The Friars play UConn tomorrow at 2.30. Maury will be back with another live report from Madison Square Garden coming up at 6.